Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2KDev. Now in this video I'm going to show you guys how to um, compile and install Node.js uh, from the source code um, and explain some of the reasons why this is better than installing it from packages per se. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, actually the first thing I'll let you guys know I'm running this on Ubuntu um, uh, 12.01 I think. Um, just running in a virtual virtual machine just so I could show you guys this. So the first thing you want to do is um, update apt. So uh, sudo apt get update. Enter your password. Okay, once that's done, you're going to want to install some of the uh, compiling tools. So we're going to need to get uh, Build Essentials, Open SSL, Lib SSL Development Package, and Package con Config. So you can do that just by going sudo apt get install build hyphen essential open so then space open SSL space Lib SSL hyphen dev space pkg hyphen config, and then press enter. Uh, this will basically say you're trying to install a bunch of packages, just press Y and press enter. And that's going to go through the whole install process for those packages. Okay, so once that um, once those uh, packages are finished installing, you're going to want to basically create yourself a directory to store um, the Node.js install. So just uh, use a standard mkdir um, command to do that. Node folder. And then just uh, enter that folder. Uh, from there, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do cd node folder. Alright, so from there, basically, uh, the next thing to do is to clone the repository from uh, Joyent. So basically, that's uh, sudo git clone and then the git URL. So that's just git github.com slash joyent slash node dot git. This is just going to set you up a uh, another folder inside of that folder with all the node, um, with all of the node resources in it. Okay, so once your git um, clone is finished, just jump into the directory, so use the cd command to do that. Should be cd node. Once you're in that folder, just run a, um, you're going to do a git checkout. Now, the reason why I'm suggesting to do this from um, command line is it makes it really easy to get a, any version of node that you want. Um, and the way you do it is you just go sudo git checkout, and then you press v, and then you type the version number. So if I wanted to get, say, version 0 0.10, whoops. Not like that. If I wanted to get version uh, zero point, sorry, my um, keyboard was messing up. If I wanted to get version zero point ten point ten, I could do it like this. If I wanted version eleven point one, sorry, zero one, I could do it like that. Um, but uh, so basically, you're able to change the version of Node. This is um, you could use something like NVM to do this, but on a server you don't really want to have all that other extra crap running, so basically you just want to check out the version of Node that you want. In this case it's going to be 0 0.10.26, which I think is the latest. Hit enter. That's basically just going to tell you that you're now on 10.26, um, uh, and then all you need to do from here is just sudo dot slash configure then you can do a sudo make and then a sudo make install. So this is going to go through the uh, compilation process. This takes a little while of time, somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes depending on the power of your machine. Okay, so once that's done, uh, all you need to do now is just run a sudo make install command. So and we do that just by typing sudo make install that'll just take a second, this one's quite fast and now we should have a working version of node installed on our system there you go, uh, we're currently running node version 0 0.10.26 now if you did need to upgrade the version of a uh, node, so let's just um, cd back into our root directory there uh, sorry, cd back into there we go 
So if we did need to uh, one day upgrade, so we've installed Node, it's currently running on our server, we've got a, a whole bunch of applications deployed and they are um, they're all running in a live production environment and you wanted to upgrade it, the first thing you would do is you would just jump back onto the machine, go back to the Node folder that you are uh, set up first, so that's just CD Node folder, then jump back into the uh, the other Node folder, so just uh, it's Node underneath that. Once you're inside of that, all you do is sudo git checkout master. That'll just bring you back the master, put you back onto the master branch. Then from there, you just do a uh, pull, a pull command. So just sudo git pull origin master. That's going to download you the latest source code. Once that's and also it's going to download you. Some, I think it'll download you the, download you the latest um, remote branches. If it doesn't download you the latest branches, just do a sudo git remotes. Uh, remote update and then what that's going to do is that's going to update your remote so you'll get all the latest branches from there you do a sudo git checkout like we did before and this time you just put the version number in so we wanted to get version 0 0.10.27 when that comes out I'm going to put it back to 2.6 because uh, as of recording this 0 0.10.27 doesn't exist yet that will put you back onto the branch onto the new branch and then from there you just do a sudo dot dash configure uh, a sudo make and then a sudo make install and that will update your version of node uh, so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please uh, like the video and also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you bye